Good morning. Oh, it's Taco Tuesday. It's the first Taco Tuesday of October. <laughs> How are you today? So, I should do this once a week, I think. Just a reminder that being in touch with your body, physical sensations, being aware of your thoughts, all of those things help you follow your fun, right? I have that somewhere, I'm sure, on a post-it note. Follow your fun. I am following my fun. I think miracles happen when we follow our fun, and this is why. So you have a big dream, and you have a, you have a goal, you have a dream, there's something you want, right? But you don't know how to get it, or you're not sure, or you think you don't want to do this. You think the only way I can get there is by this. Okay, chuck that out. You don't want to think that. <laughs> You're not in charge of the house. You have to let the universe be in charge of the house, okay? So Mike Dooley, um, I was just watching his Tuesday morning thing, and he talks about it like GPS. So you get in your car and you put in your destination, okay? So that could be a dream in your personal life, health life, career, whatever. Whatever dream you want. You put that into your GPS system, okay? And it's somewhere you haven't been before. You think you're going to really like it, love it, and that's what you definitely want, right? You put that destination in, and then the universe is going to tell you which turns to take along the way. Remember, you haven't been there before. You don't know how to get there, okay? So that's where the follow your fun comes in because that, that's your inner GPS. Using your body and your mind, your thoughts, your heart, you're drawn to things throughout your day, throughout your day, throughout your week, throughout the year. And those are those little steps. Those are the little turns along the way. That's your inner GPS telling you which way to go. And that's how you know it's the fun. Something pops into your mind. Someone gives you a suggestion. And if your reaction in your body and your mind and your heart is a little, ooh, a little thrill, a little, oh, that sounds interesting. That could be fun. I might like that. Yes, take that turn. That is your turn. You are following the steps to get to your goal, your dream. And you have to leave the how up to the powers that be, up to the universe. Really, the universe knows how to get you there. So the donut shop, <laughs> yes, I was given this example and I lived it so that I could share it with you because I'm amazed all the time by it. Um, I don't know if my end goal, if my dream was to compete on a TV cooking show. I could definitely see myself watching food TV and thinking I could do that or I want to do that. Um, I don't know if it was the, the business part, like, oh, I wish I had a business that would fit around my family schedule. I don't know if that was it. But <laughs> that first step, for me, that first step was somebody saying, I went to Seattle last weekend, and me thinking, oh, I want to go to Seattle. We haven't been to Seattle in a while. And then that really strong voice inside my head, inside my body saying, you have to go to Seattle. I didn't know that was the first step. I had no idea that was the first step. It may not have been the first step. Maybe it was, you know, maybe the universe tried before and I wasn't paying attention or I blew it off. Maybe it would have happened. I mean, the timing was pretty good. Maybe it would have happened earlier if I was paying a little more close attention because if you miss it the first time, if you miss the suggestion, if you miss the idea the first time if you blow it off, if you decide, oh, I really can't do that or I shouldn't do that, even though it sounds like fun, even though it sounds like something I would love, if you blow it off the first time, it's gonna come back around. 
and it might get louder, right? If it's tied, excuse me again, <laughs> if it's tied to your purpose, it's going to get louder. And those turns are going to be a little more forceful or those directions are going to be a little more forceful. That's why you've got to stay aware and tuned in and listening, paying attention. And that's why you have to have the guts, the faith, the trust. You have to have the trust to take those little steps because they lead to big, awesome things. All right, that's what I was getting at. So every day, follow that fun. Follow those interesting little thrills that you hear about or read about or discover somewhere out there. That's what leads to the good stuff, all those little steps. So don't be afraid and don't poo poo it, okay? Take those steps and take those chances and awesome things will happen. Is that a little heavy for a Taco Tuesday? <laughs> Have a lovely day and thank you for stopping by and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.